Good morning, everyone. Um, my uh, pleasure is to introduce Manuela Montero. Manuela is a director of HIVOS, the Humanist Institute for Development Corporation, a humanist non-governmental organization focused on financial services and business development, on sustainable production, on human rights and democratization, HIV and AIDS, gender, women and development, art and culture, ICT and media, advocacy and communication, and a knowledge program. Montero was elected second on the list of the most powerful women in the charity sector in the Netherlands due to her widely recognized leadership role in the field of women's rights. She has also been, as director of HIVOS, one of the strongest supporters of the Global Forum. Indeed, when we wanted to get uh, this movement started, uh, she was one of the people who uh, actually gave us some core funding to get, to get things moving. So we're deeply grateful to her for that, uh, as well as uh, their colleagues' uh, AIDS funds. So without further ado, I would like to introduce uh, Manuela to the podium. Welcome, Manuela, to the podium. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> and dear friends, let me tell you, it is really a big pleasure and a privilege to be here today amongst you all. Thank you also very much for all your kind words. And I'm sure that we have to com compress our mission because that was quite a lot you had to say about HIVOS. Anyway, we do all that and more. I would like to thank the organizing committee and George Ayala in particular. Where is he? George, there you are. Um, for granting me this opportunity to say a few words at the beginning of this conference. And I would also like to congratulate the Global Forum for this excellent initiative because we do need uh, these opportunities to talk, to learn, to share our experiences about MSM and transgenders and their vulnerability to HIV. And we need also to talk, to learn and share uh, our experiences in terms of the people we are already living with HIV. The theme of this conference, as has been said before, is be heard. It is a compelling exhortation and I couldn't agree more. I think it is time to put the issue of male same-sex sexualities in a higher gear because of all the pressing challenges that have been mentioned already by the, first, the, the previous speakers, the challenges that we are facing in, in, in several uh, domains, HIV vul vulnerability, violation of uh, human rights, lack of access to prevention and services. So it is time, as far as I'm concerned, to put emancipation uh, on the agenda and being heard is part, an essential part of that process. As said before, HIVOS is a development organization and some of you might wonder what that has to do with the issue at hand here today. And I'll tell you everything. Development for a humanistic organization like us is not only a question of bread and butter. It's about having choices about dignity and about shaping your life according to your own identity. And according to this humanist tradition, we have been including the voice of MSM and transgender people in our HIV and AIDS programs for quite some time. And more important, as far as I'm concerned, we've been pushing for their voice to be heard in international arena in the international development discourse. We feel that empowering MSM and transgender people uh, and other most at risk populations and enabling them to mobilize uh, and advocate for themselves is in itself a development goal. By doing so, we feel that one can break the cycle of poverty, one can stimulate participation in democratic processes and in this way really secure human rights for all mankind. As we all know, these rights are embodied in the Universal uh, Declaration on Human Rights. And last year, we have celebrated the 60th anniversary of this declaration. 
But sadly, for many MSM and transgender people across the world, these universal human rights are not self-evident. And we have been heard hearing that also by the previous speakers. Human rights of MSM and transgenders are under threat in both developing and developed countries. And we see that also in the Netherlands, where I come from. Human rights are evident for those citizens who live according to accepted uh, patterns and dominant values and norms in society. But those who don't fit within those patterns, they are often excluded and even outlawed. And we know that stigma and discrimination against MSM and transgender people come from deep-rooted homophobia, transphobia in society, comes from fears and prejudices, from misconceptions, and sometimes pure hate. And the Global Forum, uh, which has published a policy brief, and you have seen that in your uh, uh, package, in your bundle, called Social Discrimination, just last May, makes all this very clear.